Welcome back. The human papilloma virus or HPV is as common as a cold, but this virus causes cancer and more than one kind that can be deadly. In tonight's health news to use, Karen Larson shares the risk and the only tool doctors have that can protect your children. That first kiss or passionate touching, that's all it takes to spread the human papilloma virus. Dr. Brad Mons, a head and neck surgeon at Cancer Treatment Centers of America in Tulsa, says most people won't even know they're infected, while others are not so fortunate. Their immune systems can't fight it off. When that happens, that virus is able to incorporate itself into the person's DNA, and that's what leads to the cancer later on in their life. HPV is so common, 90% of us will be exposed in our lifetime. It's linked to cervical cancer in women, and while a pap smear detects that cancer early, it's the only test available right now. And it can cause anything from warts on skins, as well as the back of the throat, all the way to head and neck cancers as we're discovering. To detect other cancers early, researchers are working on new screening techniques. The key is protection. So the real important thing is how you're going to not get cancer from this exposure to the human papillomavirus. As a specialist in women's reproductive cancers, Dr. David McIntosh sees the worst from HPV. Losing a patient to cervical cancer and knowing that there's a vaccine out there that could have prevented it, it is just profoundly sad. These doctors say the HPV vaccine offers the best protection, especially when given to boys and girls by age 11 or 12 before their first kiss. If we can get these vaccines to these children earlier, help their immune system get stronger, they're going to be less likely to develop cancers at a later date. And I think that a vaccine that prevents cancer would be a wonderful thing to do for someone you love. Someone you love, the HPV epidemic, is the documentary that CTCA is airing at the Circle Cinema in Tulsa next Tuesday. Doors open at 5, the documentary airs at 5.30, and then these doctors will answer your questions about the dangers of HPV and the vaccine that offers the best protection. With Health News to Use, Karen Larson, two works for you.